Black holes are one of the strangest things in our universe. With their insane gravity, not even light can escape a black hole. So if you could enter this hole, there is no way for you to escape out. How accurate are these statements? But in today's episodes of rare and awesome black hole facts, we're going to see that the reality is much weirder than you think. So let's begin. Number one. Black holes are not things. That's right, black holes are not things with stuff at all. Instead, they're much better to be thought of as a hole in space and time. And scientists call this hole as the singularity. Nobody knows what you're going to find at the singularity. Our current understanding of the physics breaks down. But here's a thought question. If black hole is not a thing which is made of stuff, does it have any mass? Number 2. Black holes behave like things. The reason for this is gravity. Gravity according to Newton is an attractive force between things with mass like for example earth and the sun attract each other due to gravity. According to Newton, without the sun, there would be no force acting on the earth and it would just keep traveling in a straight line. But with sun in place, it puts an attractive force on the earth, gravity. And this force makes the earth deviate from its original straight line path and ends up and, and that makes the earth orbit the sun. But how can a hole which has no stuff anywhere, which is not a thing, produce gravity? Ah, for this, we need to use Einstein's theory. Einstein modified Newton's idea about gravity and according to him, gravity is not a force at all. Instead, gravity is a distortion or bending of space and time. So if we go back to our previous example, again, without the sun, the earth would just be traveling in a straight line. But now, according to Einstein, even with the presence of sun, there is no force acting on the earth. Instead, the sun just bends space and time. And therefore, the earth just keeps traveling along the new bent straight line. And that's how the earth orbits the sun. So Einstein says gravity is no force at all, but instead think of gravity as a bending of space and time. And I hope you agree with me that a hole pretty much bends space and time. And that's why black holes can create gravity. In fact, far away from the hole, the bending of space and time is identical to that of a thing like the sun. But the bending very close to the black hole is totally screwed up. And so just like how Earth can orbit the sun, Earth can also orbit a black hole as long as it stays far away from the hole. So since far away the gravity of a black hole is identical to that of a thing, black holes behave just like regular things when you look at them or orbit them from far away. But they are not regular things at all. Number 3. Black holes have an event horizon. Another famous prediction of Einstein is that clocks in the region of stronger gravity tick a little slower than the clocks in the region of weaker gravity. This effect is famously called as the gravitational time dilation. And this can be seen on Earth as well. A clock which is kept on the ground floor, which is closer to the Earth, stronger gravity, ticks a little slower than a clock kept on maybe the 6th or the 7th floor of a building. But the gravity of the Earth is so small that the difference is so minuscule that it's not going to affect us in our daily life. But with black holes, this effect is extreme. If you throw a clock towards a black hole, it'll start ticking slower and slower until when it gets really close. As it gets really close, you would see that the clock weirdly starts slowing down. Time dilation effects are extreme and eventually after one point, the clock just stops ticking forever. After this point, regardless of how much you wait, the clock won't tick at all. Extreme time dilation. The clock is now frozen in time because beyond this point, there is no time. So we can now draw a boundary around this black hole and inside this boundary, there is no time. And think about it, if there is no time inside this boundary, then there cannot be any events that can take place inside this boundary because events require time. 
And so you would just see the clock frozen over here. This boundary beyond which there are no events that can take place, we call that as the event horizon. And when people say that once you go inside a black hole, you cannot come back, what they really mean is that once you enter the event horizon, you can never come back. But now let's think about how accurate is this statement? Can things really enter the event horizon of a black hole? I mean, if you were to throw something towards the black hole, as it reaches the event horizon, its time gets frozen. No events can take place beyond the horizon and therefore things can never enter into the horizon because entering would be an event. So if you think of it this way, nothing can ever enter into a black hole. That's right, all the stuff that you have ever thrown towards a black hole is all frozen there near the event horizon. There is no way that anything can ever enter into the black hole. <laughs> then what happened to entering into a black hole and never being able to come back? What about light being sucked into the black hole? What about the blackness? Why is the black hole even black? The answers for all of this are going to come in the next episode, so stay tuned for more.